Hello and welcome back, Zingers, to another pro tip video. I'm your host, Ryan Faluna, and I'm here with Big Beat. And today, we're going to show you how to use the Newsfeed tool. Now, the Newsfeed is the heart of Benzinga Pro. It is an extremely versatile and customizable tool, and we're going to show you exactly how to do that. So right here, I've actually got a blank workspace. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Newsfeed button, either at the top or on the left-hand side, to add a Newsfeed to the workspace. Now you have a couple of different filter options at the top here. So Stephen, why don't you uh, lead the way here and tell us about the different sources that are available. Yes, Ryan, thanks for asking me. Um, very simple, you're right, the newsfeed is the heart, and not only is the heart, we've got to put some blood into it. And so this blood here is going to be the different sources that you can put into Benzinga newsfeed. And the first one here is signals. And what signals is, it tells you like when a stock is halted or when an option suite comes in, very important. Benzinga Wire is our own news feed. So whenever a big news story breaks, we have our own reporter coming in telling you what's going on. So I always have those to check. GG Press is the English, that's the Japanese. Uh, partner links are outside firms that we use to, to give you even more uh, news, as well as press releases. So when a company releases a press release, you can easily put that into your news feed. And of course, the SEC or the Edgar system um, in Washington, D.C., right into your own news feed. All right, perfect. Those are all uh, very helpful and usable sources. As a reminder, you can also color any of these sources by using the slider on the right here, and it will go ahead and color that source so that it's easier to distinguish if you have multiple sources in your news feed. Now, very similarly to uh, the sources that Steve was talking about, we also have categories. And these category filters work a little bit differently than the sources uh, filter. The sources filter adds news to your news feed. So as you add in more sources, you'll actually be seeing more posts. It's the reverse with the categories filter. As you check some of these different categories, you're actually only displaying the checked categories Thus, you're removing some of the other categories. So just taking a look at this list here, if I just went through and I went and checked off analyst ratings, executive, hot, markets, opinion, and signals, now I'm only getting news that apply to these different tags. So I've actually streamed down my list quite a bit. You'll also notice from the categories filter here is that there are subcategories. So on these two that I clicked or on several of these that I clicked on like analyst ratings, there's also other subcategories that you can see. So if I only wanted to see the upgrades and the downgrades, I would just select those two. Same is true for markets here. These are all of the different markets, including options that are in there. So uh, the categories filter will remove news from your newsfeed, but it's going to help you eliminate the noise and focus on what you're looking for. Steve, why don't you tell us about sectors? All right. That's my favorite, right? Making sector calls. That's right. So, all you do is click on the sector tab. And when you pull those up, you'll see that we have a list of basic materials, consumer cyclical, financial services, real estate, consumer defensive, healthcare. You'll see them all listed there. One of the cool things is, is if you're looking for a subsector, all you do is have to click on the actual sector. So for example, if you look in the energy sector, you can just click on energy and you'll see a whole bunch of oil and gas on the right hand side. So you can actually drill down in the sector or you can just have the whole sector by clicking on the energy. And all right. Perfect. And very much like the categories filter, as you apply these filters, it's actually going to limit the amount of news that you see in the news feed. And the goal here is to try and help stream down what you see and, and, and eliminate that noise. Now, the next filter that we have here is the watch list filter. And as you know, Big Beat has created a ton of watch lists that are available to our users for free on the help site. And if you import those watch lists into Pro, you can actually filter your news feed by a watch list. The result here is that you're only going to see news posts that pertain to stocks that are on the selected watch list or watch lists. So that's how you use all of these filters. Let me go ahead and click done here. The other button at the top of the news feed that I want to draw your attention to is the one that says desktop notifications. When you click this, it should turn yellow or orange. And when it's colored like that, that means that anytime a new post happens in this news feed, you'll actually get a pop-up. The pop-up will be on the bottom right on PC and in the upper right on Mac. Now, the other two things that I really quickly wanted to explain in this news feed are these little 
arrows, you might see them. This one is two green arrows pointing up. These are called sentiment indicators. And sentiment indicators are indicators put on by our news desk to let you know that, hey, this particular news post might be material to this stock. In this case, it's two bullish sentiment indicators. So it's two green carrots. The range here is three green, two green, one green, none one red, two red, or three red. So three up, three down, or none. And as you can see, they do not populate on every other news post. The one last thing that I wanna draw your attention to here is the plus number that is occasionally next to one of the tickers. What that does is that tells you that this news post actually applies to more than just the one ticker listed here. So you'll see here this one that I've got highlighted about Fed Chair Powell's monetary policy report, that affects uh, SPY, but if I mouse over it, you can also see that it affects the XLF. So if you're ever looking through a filtered news feed and you see a ticker on there that you know isn't part of your watch list or doesn't really make sense, see if there's a plus number there because that might explain why that news post popped up in your news feed. So thanks very much for joining us for this quick video. Until next time, traders, happy trading.